All right, we'll go ahead and get started. If you have a question, please raise your hand. I'll call on you. Bailey Johnson, we'll start with you. Go ahead, Bailey. Hi, Nikki. How are you? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, Kennedy played about 17 minutes last game. What are your expectations for her today? Um, I mean, we're just going to, we're going to base it off of how she's moving. Um, you know, she doesn't have a limit, uh, a minutes limitation. I thought um, the other night she was moving all right. I just think she got tired and, uh, you know, she, she wasn't um, producing at a high level for us. And so, you know, we were playing better with Blake on the floor the other night. Doesn't mean that that's going to always be the case. Um, but uh, hopefully with a game under her belt, she comes with a little more confidence and, you know, can can knock down some shots for us. Thanks. Leah Secondo, go ahead. Hi, Coach. Uh, thanks for your time. Uh, last time you guys met was uh, right down on the wire. The scouts, the, the scout is um, a quick turnaround, which is good, I guess. Um, just some of your thoughts headed into tonight's game against them. I think the the um, the tough part about LA is they don't run a lot of stuff, which makes them not a hard scout. What makes them a hard scout is they have Neca and Candace and and Chelsea, um, who just make plays and make plays out of their offense. And so, I mean, you've seen it consistently in the last week with them. Dallas, uh, they were down to Dallas. They were down to us. They were down to Connecticut third quarter going into the fourth and those guys just make plays late. Chelsea Gray made a lot of plays against us late. And, and so you don't want to get in a close game with them because they have such veteran talented individual players. So, you know, we, we hopefully have to get off to a better start. I think um, obviously, you know, us even being in that game and, and being in the position we were in uh, with 29 turnovers is pretty remarkable. So, I mean, the number one thing we have to do is value the basketball um, hopefully we can get another good game from Glory and, and with the addition of Kennedy that we take care of the ball at the point of attack a lot better. Yeah, may I follow up with that, uh, please? As far as Kennedy is concerned, she, she, um, she looked like she was struggling a, a little bit last game. Um, some of your thoughts on having this day off in between here and, and, how, and how is she feeling and how is she doing? How many minutes do you expect her to go tonight? It's not so much minutes, um, you know, I, I, and I had no minute expectation in the last game. It was I knew she'd probably get tired. Um, you don't take two and a half to three weeks off here and then be able to come out and be 100 percent because you just you aren't going to practice. You're not going to get your win back in practice. So she's got to get it back in the game. Um, and so, you know, there, there's no expectation. Some of it's going to be based off of how effective is she when she's on the court, you know? And if she's effective when she's on the court, I'm gonna put her in, leave her in until she's not effective, bring her out, um, rest her a little bit and put her back, you know? I, I think that ideally the other night she was in foul trouble, um, you know, no matter what matchup she had. So, um, you know, she just she's just gotta relax a little bit, you know? I think after missing six games, wanting to set the world on fire in your first game back, it's just not e that easy in this league, you know. So, so hopefully, little by little, she'll get her confidence back. She'll be she'll be more comfortable and and not put so much pressure on herself, you know, to to carry us. Thanks. 